got a story to tell. I don't want to see you end up in hell. My black people come walk with me. Take a little time and come talk with me. I got a story to tell. I don't want to see you end up in hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really and truly, man. I got a story to tell, man. You know, since 9-11, man, we have been hearing so much about Islam. We have been hearing so much about the Quran. You know, and I know a lot of people can take the, the time to look into it and see what's inside of it. But, you know, so I took a time, some chance and I started looking inside of it. And what mad poetry. Seriously, man, what I see is very mad, strange and mad. So, you know, in Christianity, that Jesus is the son of God, but no one believed that Jesus is the biological son of God. And, you know, in um, Christianity and Judaism, uh, people believe that um, they are sons of God, children of God. But no one believes that they are actually biological sons of God. But um, so we have this brother man you know uh, arabian guy you know who came up and he decided like hey what are these people talking about sons of god so he was ignorant you could tell that he was totally ignorant of what it means to be son of god so what this guy decided to do he writes a book and he says i'm going to counteract everything that these christian and these jewish people believe so he wrote the book and inside the book, we find a verse. Um, so we could go to like Quran 6, uh, verse 101. And what we would find is this verse. It's the part of the verse. In the verse, it says, How can he, meaning Hala, the God, how can he have a son when he have no wife? And that's a very strange verse coming from God. He said, How can he have a son? When he have no wife. I should be the one saying that. How can I have a son when I have no woman? God shouldn't be saying something like that. So right there, we see that this God takes things biologically, literally. Like, yeah, these people were actually saying that they are biological son of God. So <laughs> what we see here, uh, you know, when it, it gets into my head, what I see is that, this God is saying, hey, I got the sperm, I got the penis, but I ain't got no wife. And that's the only reason I cannot have a son. So this God need a son, a wife to have a son. <laughs> He's not self-sufficient at all. He needs a thing in order to do another thing. A very needy God. You know, in Christianity, uh, we know that Jesus exists before Mary. Because according to John 17, verse 5, it says, Now, Father, glorify me with the glory I had with you before the earth was created. So, he exists before Mary. We know that God entered his creation as a man through Mary. Um, so Yahweh didn't need a wife to have a son like this creature called Allah. The reason I call it a creature <laughs> is because if it need a son, if it need a wife to have a son, it's a creature. Just like I am a creature. Um, the pre-incarnated Jesus came from God as a manifestation of God, eternally existing as God at all times. <laughs> so, he's not a biological son of God he's a, he's a manifestation of God so we see the craziness in the Quran that it's man written you know and, and from a very ignorant perspective but also uh, when we look in the Quran too we also see another story um, in Quran uh, 27 Verse 15 to 44, we see a story where Solomon was um, taught the language of the birds. So we know Solomon was taught the language of the birds. 
So one day Solomon called together an army of birds, men, and devils. Do you see that? Solomon of devils. I don't know what was wrong with the guy Mohammed, but he have an association with devils that was beyond any other association you ever uh, hear anybody associate themselves with devils. He actually say in one of uh, the Sai Muslim, he actually say that the devil gave him good commands in <laughs> a Sai Muslim. Um, a Sai Muslim uh, 2814.52.62. If the Muslim are thinking that I'm lying, they could go research it for themselves. Um, he actually say that uh, Satan sleep in his head at night. The Satan sleep in all the Muslims head at night. Um, and <laughs> that you also could find in Sai al-Bukhari. You know, Satan sleep in their head, their nose part of their nose so close to their brain that's craziness total craziness um but this so Solomon called together an army of birds men and devils and Solomon became very angry because this one bird didn't show up bird is called a hoopo bird so this hoopo bird didn't show up so Solomon started threatening to kill the bird if the bird doesn't have a good use our good reason why um, he was not present at this assembly that uh, Solomon called. Uh, so the birds soon arrived and explained that uh, he went out surveying the territory and he found a, a woman um, sitting on a magnificent throne in a land called Sheba. So we all know about uh, Solomon, the story of Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. So here it is, Muhammad come up with this story, this crazy story about uh, this bird that found this woman in, in uh, as, um, the Queen of Sheba on a magnificent throne. Um, and so the bird told Solomon that her people worship the sun instead of God. So Solomon sent a message via the hoopoe bird. So the hoopoe bird went to the, uh the queen of sheba calling her not to be arrogant and to come to him in submission to come to solomon so here we are now so solomon was taught the language of bird was the queen of sheba also taught the language of bird how could she understand the bird uh, we don't know but <laughs> it's just crazy that's like that's a fairy tale anyway so uh her advisor advised her not to go, but she decided to go anyway. What Solomon did, Solomon sent a, a devil to transport her throne to his kingdom. And when she reaches uh, his kingdom, you know, via the, 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 um, the devil, so the devil take her and her throne to... to <laughs> To the kingdom, to Solomon's kingdom. When she got to Solomon's kingdom, Solomon have a floor made of glass, and um, this queen of Sheba mistake the glass for what uh, for water, so she lift up her dress and attempt to wade through the water. Wow, Mohammedan sex and and nakedness. He's always talking about sex and nakedness. Um, he have a story where he says the uh, people of Israel used to take baths together, but Moses decided not to take baths with them. So uh, one day when Moses was taking a bath by himself, so the people of uh, of, of Israel uh, started um, spreading propaganda, started spreading rumor that Moses have a scrotal earner. Ernia. So what he does, he have a uh, uh, ernia on his ball sack. So his ball sack was big and bloated. Um, so the uh, so Moses was taken bath by himself when a stone. Listen to what I'm saying. A stone decided like, oh, I'm gonna run away with his clothes. So a stone went up, grabbed Moses' clothes, and run away with it. 
And Moses started running behind the stone, shouting, Oh, stone, please, my clothes, my clothes. So the people of Israel took out on Moses' nakedness and realized that his, um, his ball sack was not bloated. So from that day, they stopped bothering Mo Moses about his ball sack. Can you imagine a grown man thinking about another man's ball sack that would make up a story like that about somebody's ball sack? <laughs> why, do, why, why does your mind go to another man's ball sack? Isn't that crazy? Totally crazy, man. So that is what I call Mad Poetry, and first edition. I'll continue to give you guys story about um, the Quran. You know, we need a little laughter in our life as we go out there, try to work this money, try to take care of our family and our kids, you know, our kids and our family, everybody, and even the people in our community. Love everybody. Treat everybody like you would like to be treated. Messiah said, he said, do unto others as you like them to do unto you. Matthew 7 verse 12. You know, I love all Muslim, but I must make fun of their religion. It's a crazy religion. But anyway, peace out. And may God peace go with you all. And I love you all. Muslim, or whatever you are, white, black, Indian, Chinese. So I'm going to take you out with another song. Don't you ever do wrong, always do right. And you must know that you are beautiful in his sight. You must shine that light, shine that light, day and night. Rasta for life, you know.